All right, gents, I'm excited to present Module 2, Trade Mathematics. I know ever since you've opened your book, you've looked at Module 2 and have dreaded it, and uh, so have I, probably just as much as you. But what we are going to try and do is make this as painless as possible, and while still allowing you to gather the knowledge that you need to knowledge out of this module before we move on, because there's some stuff in here that's important for you to know. I just don't think that conversions from the inch pound system to the metric system and learning all of those formulas is all that important right now. But the objectives for this module are converting units of measurement from inch pound to system to the metric system and vice versa to, to be able to identify units of measure so that when someone says a foot you know that it is the inch pound system and someone says a, a millimeter you know that that's the metric system and they both measure lengths. Also, how to convert area and length and volume values, how to convert weight, and to convert pressure and temperature values as well. Uh, much of this chapter is on inch pound to metric conversions, but there are some formulas in here and some things you need to learn, know just to make sure that you are capable of doing your job as an HVAC technician, especially when it comes to converting length, area, and volume values. So the inch pound inch pound and metric values so we use pound uh, ounces and gallons rather than liters we use Fahrenheit rather than Celsius we use inches rather than meters and we use pounds and ounces rather than grams for weight so in the metric system the to measure to measure dimensions while well, we use inch feet the metric system uses centimeters and meters and then we use ounces and pounds. Metric system uses grams and kilograms and so on. This diagram is in, in your book and you can take a look at that. But that, that is the, the units of measure and the values that, that we use as compared to the metric system itself. Now here's some common inch pound units. Uh, if you look at this chart, this is something that you should have learned in middle school. I don't want to belabor this point. You, it's just, just an example of our common inch pound units. And the other thing I want to say is, you know what, I, I, I don't say that lightly. We should have learned it in middle school. If you do have struggle with, with the math and there's some things that you really want to get and don't, just let me know and we'll, we'll set up some time. And if I need to shoot a video for, for something in particular and put it up there, then I'll do that. But right now, I just want you to get the basic idea of this and learn how to use the apps that you have to get your job done. Okay, so the metric system uses it's all done in tenths, one hundredths, and one thousandths. And you know, I, I said we don't use the metric system a lot, but we we do use the powers of ten, like the metric system, when we're talking about a computer with gigabytes. So if it's ten gigabytes, it's ten billion bytes of information. Also megabytes, kilobytes, kilobytes is a thousand and we use microamps, uh, millivolts and so forth in our in our trade. So if it's a microamp it's one millionth of an amp. If it's a milliamp it's one thousandth of an amp. Now here's some now here are some common not common but here's some conversions between the inch pound system and the metric system. Now this is where you can get on the internet or you can get into your app and you can do your conversions. So if you have one millimeter and you need to convert to one inch, if you get on the internet and type millimeter to inch calculator, it's going to pop up there in Google. You put in one millimeter and it's going to spit out 0.03937 of an inch. And you can do that for any of these, any of these units and more. And I would suggest that you, you look in your book find this and f use your app and start to be to become familiar with how to maneuver through your app using these examples and you can check yourself all right so that was pretty painless so we're going to move forward here in just a bit if you have any questions just shoot me an email and I would prefer you use the class forum and I'll see you on the next lesson